The junior cricket club I started at was the Sky Cricket Club. Started there at the age of 10. Went down there with just, just the ambition to play cricket. Started off pretty average, to be honest. I actually bowled a full over of wides. Uh, so it's good, good to know that I've um, started making a few, few small steps in the right direction now. Don't, don't exactly bowl nine wides in a row and then get told to sit down for the rest of the day. My junior cricket started at Johnson Park when I was seven. Went down on Friday nights, optimistic that I might get a go uh, with the brother playing there and then moved on to Eildon Park when I, for the under 13s. And my favourite junior memory would be winning the under 15 premiership with Eildon Park. We had an undefeated season and got down to the grand final and it got pretty tight towards the end but we managed to get over the line eight down and that was a fantastic day. Uh, I'm from the South East Country Sharks. I got chosen second year of the 14s, it was my first year. From the Outer East Eagles, started there in the under-14s and uh, made my way through the under-16s and under-18s. Uh, you get to play with the best kids in your area and um, you, you learn a lot from other kids that you play with. Obviously when you go to Premier Cricket, you, you're playing against men every week and when you go back to Pathway Cricket, you're playing against the best kids. So um, it gives you, gives you a better reading of where you're at as a player. Uh, the Premier Cricket Club I played for is Melbourne and I've learned a lot playing there. I've had access to a lot of great facilities and a lot of great coaches. I was lucky enough to play my debut game with Brad Hodge down at Geelong and also be captained by Andrew Kent who's made over 10,000 Premier runs. I play for the Premier Cricket team Frankston Peninsula. I got taken under the wing by a couple of the older boys such as Scotty Bolland who's now one of the big dogs up here. It was a great experience playing there. We've got one of the best grounds in Premier Cricket. Got good decks for bowlers which <laughs> also works in my favour and um, our coaches, coaches are great. Playing at the underage state level, it's such an exciting opportunity to go away and travel. Been lucky enough to go to places such as Adelaide, Tasmania, um, over to Perth, and just test myself against the best opposition around with our team and try and win the state title. Playing at the underage uh, state level is, has probably been the biggest, biggest highlight of my life so far. Every, everything I've done up until this day has been to get here. It, it's, it's good coming here as well. It gives you, um, gives you hope sort of thing of where you're gonna, where you're gonna end up. Uh, the introduction of the Victorian Country and Vic Metro team I think will be great just for providing more opportunities for players to be able to go travel away into state and um, test their skills against the best players around the state. It gives another 13 blokes an opportunity to strike their stuff and show everyone what they can do and for them to share the, the experience of coming away and living away from home to play cricket, it gives you a sort of a glimpse of being a professional. And I guess um, from a Metro perspective, we already have a rivalry and being able to play them in a competitive environment of a state championship will provide many great memories for us all. The pathway has been awesome. It's, I well, have based my life around it at the moment. I've um, quit football to, to try and concentrate on, on cricket solely. Coming in here is almost surreal. Being able to finish a school day and come in here to the academy is just a fantastic uh, opportunity with the vast array of coaches we have from the mental side of things to the fitness side of things to batting, bowling, weird keeping. There's a real opportunity uh, to develop our skills in all assets of the game, not just with our cricket skills, but also improving our fitness and improving how we can mentally prepare for games. Well, it's, it's where the big boys play, it's where the Aussies play, where the Vicks play, the Bush Rangers. So it just, yeah, it gives you a, gives you a look at your dream and uh, whether you work hard enough or whether you're good enough to make make ends meet at the end of the day, well that's, that's up to you.